Now, go over to me and go. I see here that you are an Afro-Latino. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Where is Afro-Latino? It's not a country. You have last español? Maybe. Si, si, si. Now, that one was in Spanish. Camera action. I'm loud and proud. Yeah, make them see my name when I put it down. Can't breathe in the building. Time to scream. You're watching Black Tree on TV. First off, I want to say, man, your cont contributions to the culture, the things that you are doing, it's groundbreaking, it's pioneering. For, for especially for women, but young black women, especially someone like my daughter and other women around the world, around the globe. So I appreciate you for that. Hats off to you. Was it tough at all trying to get this show up and running and that's been started? Oh, no, not at all, actually. <laughs> uh, I had sold this when I was doing, uh, I had a late night show called The Rundown with Robin Thede, and I had sold this show to another network. And then my late night show got canceled and I couldn't figure out the budget kind of with the other network for the sketch show. So Issa Rae called me when my late night show got canceled and she said, what are you doing with that sketch show? Let's go make that together uh, and let's bring it to HBO. So we brought it to HBO. They said, great, go do it. Honestly, it was so easy. And in my life, oh. I've struggled so hard to make a lot of things work. And yeah. things that have worked the best have been easy because they've been meant to be, right? And I was being prepared right. for the opportunities. And you can, you can definitely tell within the show, the authenticity in the show. It's so beautifully put together between you, Issa Rae, the amazing cast. How do you go about your selection? I know you do go to YouTube, TikTok, and things like that. But are there any other avenues that you do check out for this for the cast? Absolutely. I mean, look uh, for the cast. I'm looking for Black women talent everywhere, you know. And I think for our guest stars, those are all just straight offers from people that we love on any of those platforms or everywhere, all the way up to Patti LaBelle and Angela Bassett, right. you know. So. Um, but yeah, I think we're constantly consuming content from social media, but also I'm, I'm in comedy clubs and I'm at uh, sketch theaters when those were happening, especially pre-pandemic. Um, and I've been in the live sketch scene for 20 years. So, you know, there's people, me and Gab performed together when we first got to LA as little babies and she used to beat me out for other auditions and other shows. <laughs> um, so, you know, when I had mine, I said, oh, you got to come over here cause you be booking shows. And she's yeah. also so good, you know? And so I wanted people to remember how funny she was and how much she'd been doing in sketch. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I always tell people, people like, how do you find such talented black women? I'm like, I open my eyes. I go outside. Like we're everywhere. And I think that's, what's important for people to remember. You don't have to like train us up. Nobody had to train me to start this show. I was ready to go, you know? So um, right. I think people just have to be more open to finding talent everywhere. Right. Absolutely. Um, how, how do you, what's your approach to the balance um, of, of, um, the political climate and with making uh, and social climate and making sketches out of these things. How, how do you come about that? Yeah, I think because we're not a day and date kind of show, like we don't write the show and then air it the same week. We avoid politics at, uh, in specific on the show. I did a lot of that in my late night career, but because we write it nine, 10 months before it airs, it just wouldn't feel current. But we do try to be topical and we try to stay like, you know, or, or rather, we try not to be topical, we try to stay current, right? So if we do a sketch about the state of hip hop or which we have like a we have like a take on verses this year, you know, and that's all within the zeitgeist, but it's not of like, it didn't just happen yesterday, you know? So I think we try to stay relevant in that conversation and make sure that we're, you know, feeling like a show that's made in 2023, but, but because of the nature of the way we make the show, we can't really like do too much politics. But I kind of right. mind that because I had to report on Trump for a long time. And even on a comedy show, it was really, really hard day after day. So I think for me, our biggest way that we do it is that our presence is political. It is a political statement saying that Black women are here and deserve to be in this very majority white male sketch field, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that's, that is refreshing about a Black Lady, Black Lady sketch show is that you can come to it and watch it and get your mind off of the world in a sense and just kind yeah. of zone in. It's that it brings back that the 90 is nostalgic feeling watching Living Color. Was that something that you had that was on the front of your mind with the creation of the show? I'm so glad you said that. Yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. And Living Color was my, you know, recess, right? <laughs> like when I watched the Living Color, I didn't have to worry about nothing else, right? Chappelle, all those shows were like that for me. So if we can be that for people, there's nothing that would make me happier. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. How do you feel about the climate of 
these, these black comedians, black women in particular, getting that platform that you're able to provide and giving them a, more so a new, a new, newer, cleaner shot on the, on the main screen. I love it. I think that with this opportunity, I'm so blessed and so lucky to be able to have had an opportunity that no black woman in the history of American television has ever had to create this show. So I think that, and I'm not saying that like, oh, <laughs> you know, whatever. Like, I think that is a big responsibility and it's my purpose and my job to make sure that I'm not the only one uh, to right. be able to benefit from this. So yeah, I love to see it. I love to see what's happening with our cast. I love to see what's happening with our writers, our director, our editors, our production design, like all the people that have been nominated for Emmys. They can put Emmy nominee or Emmy winner in front of their name. Like that's, nobody can take that away from you. And the checks got to come up to meet it, you know? So I love that. I love that we get to make people, yeah. Your, your service for self as a creator, as a writer, it goes beyond and it speaks volumes. You can tell on the show when I mean, you watch it, which, which, which premieres season four, April 14th on um, April right. Matt, that it's, it's so natural for you that you put these characters together. You make, make the writing that's, that outlines everybody's purpose and their, their strengths where they can naturally shine. It's not no force. It's nothing. They, mm -hmm. these, these women coming to these characters, even the guests coming to these characters and effortless, effortlessly hit a home run. And so yeah. you, is that something that you kind of been, you always had in your back pocket was starting up in the industry and that you kind of been crafting this all these long to get to this point where you get to season four. I, it's, I mean, thank you for saying that. Yes. And you know where that comes from? It's the writing. It's the writing. We work on the writing so much and so much. So if anybody picks up that script, they're going to be good. They're going to be funny. They're going to be good. And then on top of that, I have the most talented cast in comedy today, period, yes. period, no question. And if you can't see that, I don't know, you might have, you might be biased, but, <laughs> but no, I think that Gabrielle Dennis, Sky Townsend, all of our new cast members, everyone who's come through there, Ashton Nicole Black, Quint Black, Quinta, jo uh, Qu Jesus, it's been a long, Quinta Johnson, Quinta Brunson, Lacey Mosley, like all these women who have come through are stars and have gone on to do incredible things. And everyone in this cast will continue to do that as well. Okay. And for me, the writers also, um, I, I think it's just so cool because when it's that good on the page and the cast is that good, that magic happens, right? It's undeniable because everything is so good. And I love that you're saying it feels effortless. And that when the guest stars come too, they get the scripts. We don't write for them. We write characters we love. And then they get it and they're like, oh, this is a gift. Let's go. Like it's all on the page. So, right. um, and then they just get to add their own sauce on it. And like I said, it just keeps building and building and building. But the writing is that foundational layer always. And I don't think enough people pay attention to it. And that is so beautiful to watch, beautiful to see. Um... And from the from the viewers, and it's, it's such like again, it's such a breath, a breath of fresh air because I, in my eyes, I see y'all as the matriarch of comedy, your platform. Wow. Um, y'all have y'all have created something that is groundbreaking, that's bigger than even social media content in the platform wise, because you're able to just put people in a well oiled machine where they can go on and be more successful in on, in their own personal careers, um, yeah. and then come back together as a whole. So I I can. I can definitely see that Ken and Ivan Wayans in you and your spirit. And it's such it's so beautiful to see and for it to come out. Y'all executed amazingly. Thank um, you. Friday, man, hats off to you and your and your cast and your your team, man. Y'all, y'all are wonderful and y'all do an amazing job. Wow. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for seeing us. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, ma'am. Congratulations on season four again. Thank you. For your Thank time. you. I hope you enjoy it.